สวัสดีครับทุกคนยินดีต้อนรับเข้าสู่ I Get Thais with Jack This is the word for you today and the word for you today is เจ้ามือเจ้ามือ is the word that seemingly has a simple meaning compounded of two words together in this context เจ้า is interpreted as owner or processor we can pronounce it เจ้าเจ้า while มือ means hand or holder so เจ้ามือ translates to owner of the hand or host however its usage goes beyond a little translation let's delve deeper and explore the different contexts in which เจ้ามือ is used เจ้ามือ can be used to refer to the person who pays for the meal and can be used in the context of a small treat For example, if it's a special occasion where I won the lottery and have 2,000 baht, and I would like to invite you and our other friends, about three of them, to go for a small dinner, so I am the จ้ามือ who pays for the dinner. ไปกินข้าวกันเดี๋ยวผมเป็นเจ้ามือเองไปกินข้าวกัน Let's go eat. ไปกินข้าวกันเดี๋ยวผม I will. เดี๋ยวผมเป็น to be เป็นเจ้ามือ the person who pay เจ้ามือเอง refer to only or entirely ไปกินข้าวกันเดี๋ยวผมเป็นเจ้ามือเอง let's go eat I'll pay for it ไปกินข้าวกันเดี๋ยวผมเป็นเจ้ามือเอง it's quite different from the word เจ้าภาพโอเคเจ้าภาพ also means host But they refer to a host who takes full responsibility, including the financial aspects, for a social gathering or celebration. This focuses on responsibility and providing for the event, like paying for the large event that gathers many people together. เจ้ามือ on the other hand is used solely to pay for small meals like the one described. Another term for เจ้ามือ is a card dealer, the person who distributes the playing cards in the card game. You know, when talking about เจ้ามือ in this context, it reminds me of playing cards at funerals. You might be curious why this happens. Well, you know, in Thailand, funeral ceremonies often extend late into the night, lasting for three, five, or even seven days, mostly odd numbers. Depending on the family's traditions and the size of the family, it is common to see people gathering to pay their respects and offer condolences. As the night progresses and the formal Buddhist ceremonies led by monks come to an end, relatives and cousins have nothing to do while keeping vigil over the deceased's body in the temple. You know the atmosphere can become eerie and unsettling. Prompting a desire for companionship and distraction, to alleviate the somber mood, to keep spirits up, yeah, many turn to gambling and card games as a form of entertaining. But despite the fact that gambling is illegal in Thailand, during funeral ceremonies, the authorities often turn a blind eye to these activities. You know, I remember the last funeral of my cousin. We also played card games. In the temple, I sat from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. and only earned 50 baht. Oh my Buddha! So much money! Yet yeah, the good thing for me was that I could earn 50 baht, because <laughs> my cousin was a Chao Mu, so I got 50 baht from him, and also have fun with other cousins. Yeah, as you know, card games should have a Chao Mu or dealer. Who is responsible for distributing cards and overseeing the whole game? Yeah, that was about the word "chao m u which refers to the person who pays for the meal and the dealer for card games. Okay, everybody, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See you in the next video. Have a good day. สวัสดีครับ